Hard to believe, but school will be starting soon. And now's the time to start thinking about preparing the kiddos to get back into a routine and start on a healthy note. That's the topic today with our pediatrician on call, Dr. Scott Cyrus. Great to see you. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. You know, so much uh, is going on right now with summer and trying to kind of do those activities, but it will be here before we know it. What are, I guess, your message to parents and grandparents out there when it comes to the kiddos? You know, I always believe that preparation for school, uh, change in activities always starts at home. Uh, it's really Im important to kind of set the schedule. Make sure, you know, you work on your child's self-esteem, especially if they're going into grade school for the first time or kindergarten or they're changing from middle school to, to high school. Uh, work on their self-confidence and say, you know, you can do this. And, you know, we've been doing this all along. And uh, especially this is something new. You know what you want to support them through the changes and work with work with them uh, from uh, standpoint of maybe going to the school or drive by the school uh walk uh, maybe the school grounds and things like that so they understand kind of where we're going with things and and then of course always 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 think about you know how you're going to set a schedule for sleep for studying and for breaks i mean the, the, this is not all about just you know study 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 you know there's times that we have to take a break kind of clear our minds and and work from there you know it's so oftentimes the things that we tell our kids the way we say things can really set them up for either success success or failure, right? So in terms of those messages that you want to get across to the little ones, especially transitioning, letting, letting, letting them be heard. Exactly. You know, uh, listen to what they want to, well, listen to them, obviously. It's it's extremely important to listen to them. See where they're, see maybe where they might be beginning to struggle. Or I, I don't, well, I don't know anybody in my class. And that's true. You know, admit some of the things that uh, they see. But, uh, you know, you will be able to make friends. Uh, you will know your teacher. Uh, she is there to help you or he is there to help you. Uh, th those kind of things. And say, you know, look at all the friends that you've made in, in the years that you've been here in our neighborhood and and those are going to be the same kids that you're going to see at your school let's talk about that routine because i know right now maybe summer is just kind of everybody every man woman and child for themselves but you need to go ahead and start making plans to kind of get back into that routine talk to us a little bit about that well, you know, uh, sleep is extremely important. We uh, just recently, you know, over the few years that we really understand the importance of sleep and good sleep. It's not just sleep, it's actually rest. And you, that restful sleep that is important, you know, eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, uh, not, a, not you know, eight minimal. And then if it needs more, then that's fine. And so uh, the younger the child, the more they need. Typically it's, you know, eight to, or nine to 11 for the younger children and then eight to to 10 for the older children. So having that bedtime set every day as close to possible with keeping that routine. Um, I know it's also, you know, making sure that the kids have the proper nutrition. You know, you want to get the kiddos and, and we're really fortunate now so many of the schools are helping with that as well. That's so true. You know, when you think about, you know, the routine of sleep, going back to that, you know, take a, you know, maybe set the idea of putting, keeping the phones or the social media zero, you know, at night so that they can get that restful sleep. But, you know, getting good snacks, uh, healthy snacks energizes them. Uh, they, they may need a little bit along the way, taking a break, uh, maybe an energy bar or something along those lines. Um, uh, think about the the idea of when you, uh, when you're preparing for school, School, think also about vaccines and about getting routine examinations. Our cheerleaders, band members, football, sports uh, people all need their uh, physical exams from the May of that year forward. And so a lot of a lot of people have been getting their their um, vaccines updated. They're getting their physical exams and things like that so that they can be prepared to participate in those activities. I'll just mention too, the caring van is going around this week specifically, but I think the whole month of July. And so if you've not been able to get your child vaccinated or um, you don't have the funds for it, there are ways that they can make that happen, which is really important. So we'll put that on our website later today as well. All right, uh, final 30 seconds. We're getting ready to get those kiddos ready. I think there's just kind of that calm before the storm. 
That's true. You know, you know, kids get kind of anxious. They get kind of nervous. Uh, you know, getting uh, involved in your child's school, in their um, uh, activities. Uh, there's all kinds of things that that the school just would love for parents to be involved. If you have the activity, I mean, you have the time to be involved in their activities. Uh, it's a great way of doing uh, getting involved, and that helps. You know, seeing a parent or or, or a guardian on campus with that just gives them reassurance that they're doing the right thing. And remember, they can do it and, and give them the confidence they need. All right. Dr. Cyrus, we appreciate you as always. Look forward to seeing you again next month in the month of August. Have a great day. <laughs>